president to host the G7 at his home resort? And how will the president continue to criticize the Biden family for self-dealing at the same time he's doing this? Uh, okay, a couple different things. Uh, first off, you're not making any profit. We, I think we've already established that. Uh, I think some. It's a huge. I've heard. You know, I've heard that. I've heard that before. Um, you know, I've, I guess I've been the, the chief now for about nine or ten months, and I always hear it. Whenever we go to Mar-a-Lago, it's a huge branding opportunity. Whenever he plays, uh, you know, at Trump Mar-a-Lago, we play golf at Trump Bedminster. He goes to play golf at Trump up in Sterling, um, and everybody asks the question: Is it not a huge marketing opportunity? I would simply ask you all to to, to consider the possibility that Donald Donald Trump's brand is probably strong enough as it is, and he doesn't need any more help on that. This is not like it's it's the most recognizable name in the English language, and probably around the world right now. So no, that's, that, that has nothing to do with it. That's why, I, listen, I was skeptical. I was. I was, I was aware of the political sort of uh, a criticism that we come under for doing it at Doral, um, which is why I was so surprised when the, when the advance team called back and said that this was the perfect physical location to do this. So I get the criticisms. So does he. Uh, face it, he'd be criticized regardless of what he chose to do. But no, there's no issue here on him profiting from this in any way, shape, or form. What's the difference? between this and what we're talking about, the Bidens. Um, uh, well, first of all, there's no profit here. Clearly, there's profit to the Bidens. And second of all, I think if there's one difference that you look at between the Trump family and the Biden family, Trump family made their money before they went into politics. I thought it was interesting how when we learned this G7 part of things, that he's going to host the G7 at his club, yeah. right? Which we knew was a possibility, but it's very... Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's surprising, but it is it is certainly a breach of protocol, and, and, right? And, but yeah. what does that say? I mean, it's I don't mean to go off on this tangent about that because it actually sort of speaks to the broad thing that we saw Mulvaney doing. They right. don't care. That doesn't the care. Mm -hmm. There's there's a shame factor that has been missing. That chip is just has been missing since day one, and that has been the through line of all of these issues. Absolutely. That and the latest is Durrell. What did Mick Mulvaney say to the question about, was it the president's idea? Oh, yeah, it was the president. He came, he said, sure. what about Durrell? What a great idea. That's not the craziest idea That's I've not the heard. craziest idea. With a question, are you concerned about what this says to foreign leaders around the country, who, around the world, who look to this country as sort of a beacon? Not to be self-serving, right? Not you know, at all. You know what his answer was? No. Next question. Right. I mean, they, they don't, don't care. Self-dealing so, is not self -dealing, in the vocabulary. That's what they say. Self-dealing is not in the vocabulary. And, and, and what Mulvaney was saying is, look, if we do it, it's, it's just fine. This is the best place in the entire United States. And the president suggested it and thought it was a great idea. Mm -hmm. And again, it goes back to what Dana was saying, which is, yes, we're doing it. So what? So, Jim, so what? to that point, Jim Baker, if the, the, we have this, you know, so what, I don't care element, as Dana and Gloria just put it, how much does that... How much is what a president does, what a White House does, normally governed by norms rather than actually any kind of rule, law, that actually has a somewhat expedient consequence that might deter someone who likes to push boundaries from pushing them and blowing right through them? Well, the president over the past several years obviously has, has destroyed a lot of the different norms that have applied historically in the United States. The question is whether he's abusing his power. And I think, look, the, this issue with the Doral Country Club is part of a pattern of corruption. There's no other way to say it. Uh, and self-dealing, as uh, I think Gloria was saying, that goes back several years. The Mueller report is replete with examples of, of a pattern of corruption that should be unacceptable in this country. And the question is whether the, the Congress of the United States and the, ultimately the voters are going to hold the president accountable for, it, for all this. 